Welcome back, Mongo Fix. Well, this one of those uh, fancy fang dangled infrared heaters. It got some sort of problem, this uh, switch. It, it not sticking in off position. It stuck on pretty much. First off, all heaters are infrared. That's how it works. So, you know, infrared for beginners is nothing more than an electromagnetic frequency. Just about all things give it off. You know, the sun warms the earth. Infrared comes off the sun, heats the earth. It's a form of radiation. It's a form of light. It's nothing fancy, nothing new. Inside here, nothing but a bunch of coils. And a fan blows air over the coils. The coils get hot. That air comes out here, warms the air, warms you. So it's not some fancy technology. A long time ago, they just called them electric heaters. But today, they call them infrared for some reason, because, I don't know, people need to have something fancy or something. It's all bull crap. It's nothing but an electric heater. There's no space-age future technology in there. A fire pit gives off infrared heat. The human body gives off infrared heat. This is a really old electric heater. It's got a big coil winding that runs up and down, up and down, up and down. And the AC electric energy from the wall goes through it, heats up that coil, and there's a small fan underneath that blows air out the top. That is an infrared heater. But a long time ago, we just called them electric heater. This is a propane heater head. So a propane tank screws on down there. And it's got a little ignition lighter in there. So when you hook it up, turn the gas on, and light it, it uses combustion and puts out infrared heat. Or infrared wavelength. The human body takes in food. Converts that food or calories, burns those calories inside the human body, and the human body puts out infrared wavelengths, heat. The only difference between the human body and the propane heater and the old school heater is that this one uses electricity instead of a petroleum fuel or calories or something else. we got to stop calling these things infrared heaters. It's an electric heater. That's it. Done. So this uh, model number for this one. And it got a nice little thermostat in there. Plug this guy in. Heater kick right on. Because again, switch stuck in on position. It doesn't shut off. And when you try to flip off, you can hear some sort of arcing in there. Other thing noticed is that when it's on, this plug get really warm. So that tells Mongo there's some sort of high resistance inside here that causing too much current draw. Not enough to throw a breaker, but on the back here a little filter and a couple screws. A little stopper plate and a couple more screws in the bottom. Well, that's what it looks like out of its shell. Well, there's the heating element. Let's take a look here. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Bunch of coiled heating elements. Oh, this switch is the part that's bad. See it? Not really clicking and holding in either direction. And it got three wire going to it. Black, red, and white. So this is a three-prong switch here. Probably an LED in there. So we'll have to get this out first. Always make sure appliances are unplugged when you work on them, you know, right? Safety first. And then usually these switches, you push the little tabs and they'll come out. This one looks like it'll need a little courage. Well, then you want to make sure to find a similar switch. So, you want to make sure that, you know, that says on there it's 125 volts AC. Good for 20 amps. So you want to, we found actually the exact same switch in the junk drawer. 125 volt, 20 amp, three prong, similar size. Now if it's not the same size, you can always put a custom switch in there. Mongo did that a long time ago. 
change the switch out because it died. Switched it over to this one, so you just stretch out the hole a little bit. She'll go in there. If you can't find the exact same switch, one that's similar worked just fine. Just make sure it rated 120 volt or whatever you're plugging it into and the right amperage. Push this new switch in place. Interesting thing to note. See how this one uh, no longer blue? It's more of a brown or blacker color. That means that connector had high resistance and there was a lot of current going through there to start melting stuff. So that's because that switch, the original one, had been damaged. So because of that damaged switch, it was causing high resistance in there. And that was starting to damage that wire. So you got to watch out for high resistance, you know, when you feel your cords and outlets and things starting to get warm and hot. First red flag, you got to look at something. Because if you let it go unchecked, you might burn your house down. And that's never a good thing. That's why we started looking at this heater, because it... Switch was broken and the cord was getting hot. That means there's a problem. Alright, we're back to normal. Be sure to clean out your air filter. Don't forget to, it gets dusty. It'll clog up, it'll cause overheats in the machine if you don't clean that out. Well, the heater's been running full tilt for about a half hour now. Let's check the cord here. That's yeah, still about room temperature, that's good. Last time, about a half hour, she got pretty warm to touch. Well, hopefully this video helped you if you ever have a switch on your heater that not work. If you like this video, be sure to like this video. If you like this video and other videos from Mongo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mongo is working on all sorts of stuff. So you ought to replace the switch on your infrared heater if it ever go bad or break. Mongo, thank you.